Good morning, ladies and gents, and welcome to The Process, Episode 2. It seems like forever since I sat down to write one of these scripts, because for some reason, unbeknownst to me, I find it necessary to make substantial progress before recording. And it's definitely not because I've been lazy. And listen, listen, if any of you think that, listen, the, the fact that you mentioned it probably says more about you than it says about me. I, I'm just saying, I'm just throwing that out there. Anyways, guys, um, saying that we've made that we make substantial progress in this episode is a bit of an understatement, as the area is going to look virtually unrecognizable to the one we ended with last episode. I really want to jump right into the content for today, but I feel like it's necessary to at least plug my Twitch, as I've been having a blast streaming on there over the past couple of weeks. Um, if you want more frequent updates on the progress of this world, I suggest heading over there, giving me a follow. It'll be it'll be epic. You can come. You can give some Twitch emotes. I'm I'm learning what they mean, like like Pog, and and Keck W. Kind of cool. They call me a hipster. Anyways, now that my absolutely shameless self-promotion is over, let's get on to the build. Last episode, we left off on kind of a completed mountain area, and I figured the perfect start to this one would be to finally build the wizard tower I alluded to so heavily last time, even going as far as to clickbait without actually including any wizard tower build in the video. I'm sorry. This build has been in the works, however, for a long, long time, and I am overjoyed to finally see it come to life like it is right now. What started as a challenge to rework an older build using the new nether blocks has really turned into one of the all-time coolest builds I have ever done, and I am super happy you can all see it with me. Fun fact, this was originally a build that I was putting together for a YouTuber SMP that I applied to under the false pretense that I was indeed a YouTuber. Long story short, the people let me on the server and then subsequently banned me for not playing a minimum of one hour a night. If that can teach you all anything, it's that it's 100% possible to lie on your applications and suffer very little consequences. Unless, of course, your application is for a Minecraft server and the admins of said server expect you to dedicate your entire existence to the grind. Honestly, a respectable drive, albeit a bit challenging when you're out of G Fuel. Anyways, I'm going to shut up now and let you all enjoy this wonderful time lapse of the Wizard Tower being built. Is something that someone whose sole purpose in life is to torment the lovely residents of Wheatville could have such sweet digs, but then again, I kind of respect the hell out of that. 
You know, I'm personally a huge supporter of people getting rich off the backs of the working class, so it's my personal headcanon that the taxes that we said this wizard was trying to implement really paid off for him. Good man. Moving right along, I had to ask myself what more could a guy who lives in a sick ass tower atop a mountain really need? And after an hour of intense thought, I came up with the answer. I mean, let's be real guys, if you had this epic property, you'd view it as a crying shame that you couldn't have the boys over for some epic grilling sessions. I mean, a house without a grill is like a lake without smallmouth bass, a waste of space. So I went to work on creating a luxury wizard themed grilling station that isn't at all for blood sacrifices. Unless of course you're talking about the blood present in the choice cut beef that me and the boys will be cooking up on this baddie. For real though, I really do like this thing. It helps the mountain from feeling so empty, and I especially enjoy the roof as it manages to keep the same sort of theme as the main tower has without even coming close to overpowering it. Quickly adding a nice pathway to finish the old girl up, and I think we have a really nice area here. It's finally getting to the point where this seems like an actual build, and not just a random cacophony of terraforming which I think is absolutely awesome. along, I really don't want to spend too much time on the acid pit as most of my replay files are missing for some reason, but I was quite proud of how it turned out either way. It doesn't make too much sense to be here as it borders a river, but for the first attempt at messing around with glass in this way, I'm viewing it as an absolute win. It looks cool, and when I do the flyby overview, you'll see the dividing wall, and honestly, I think that ties the whole place together quite nicely. The rest of what you'll see today primarily comes from my streams over on Twitch. I've been spending a lot of my time on there recently, and it's been much more fun to build things when I get to interact with you guys on a more personal level. I started working more and more on the custom forest area directly in front of the mountain, and let me tell you all, there is nothing that fills me with more dread and also hate than the thought of building more custom trees. Like it isn't even that the trees are hard to build, it's just that they take an absurd amount of leaves, and there's nothing more frustrating than having to constantly go out and collect more spruce leaves. Tree building progressed for quite some time, but to be totally transparent with you all, it, it just really isn't isn't interesting. It, it's kind of boring. It, it sucks. So I, I didn't record as much of it as I probably should have, and as a result, this is all the footage I have. You know, maybe by next episode, I'll get more used to the fact that I need to record things, but knowing me, I definitely will not. After finishing one small section of the forest, however, I was pretty much burnt out on it and needed to take a break, so I moved right along to creating the vineyard I had mapped out in the previous episode. This was actually a lot of fun to make because I haven't built in with these blocks in a long time. Like I know it's a pretty basic palette, but it's so much fun to return to a style that I'm confident and comfortable with. While I do think it's important to challenge yourself when building, it's always nice to do some tried and true styles and I think this house came out great. I took a lot, and I mean a lot, of inspiration about how to actually make the vineyard vines area from Flip because I mean, he, he seriously could be the best builder in the game right now and it, I think that the inspiration definitely paid off. It seems almost too simple making grapevines using this method of um, leaves on spruce fences, but man, oh man, does it look spicy. It is a bit dependent on the texture pack to make the leaves look a bit more fluffed up, but I don't really think that matters too much. I then started working on a couple of builds around the lake. Oh, did I forget to mention the fact that I finished the lake? Yeah, this has been a, a really productive couple of weeks. These houses make me incredibly happy for some reason though. Like I, I don't really know 
why i just really enjoyed building in this style and doing the more creative shapes of the diagonal and the half diagonal half not diagonal um also in the process of building these houses i found out that the new update to flips texture packs allow for the barrels to be filled with berries oh shit! mind blown legit berry containers that is so perfect yeah, this was an awesome moment for me. This is where I was originally going to end this video. However, I got a bit lazy and did a couple more streams while putting off writing this script. Listen, to make a long story short, I thought it would be a good idea for me to raise bees. You know, become a beekeeper, as the people say. I figured, you know, how hard could it be? Oh my gosh, a bee. Holy shit, where did this come from? What if, can I just lead him? This is so scuffed. <laughs> let's let's go home, Mr. B. Come on, Todd. You and me, we're gonna be best friends. Probably You know what I was gonna say best friends forever, but let's let's say best friends for the foreseeable future, Todd, too, because frankly I am I am not very confident in my skills as a as an owner uh, or a caretaker. What if what if we what if I just can I get you in here? Get in the boat. Todd? Get in the boat. <gasps> Holy shit. Women don't exist in this land. No women. No women allowed in the beehive. That's what I always say. You know what? Todd, okay, you're still on the leash. I think I think this calls for a little bit of a change in song, you know? I wanna be This is my jam! It's just, you know, me and Todd too, out on the land, vibing together to the chill sounds of a piano. I think that's a beautiful idea. Todd, Todd, let, let's... Here, here man, here man, get in the boat. Honestly picturesque. Don't get any ideas, Todd. <laughs> Don't get any ideas. Here, here, man. I, I let me, let me give you. Eat up. Oh, I can't feed him anymore. Okay. Oh! oh God! Oh my God! Todd, I was trying to save you. Oh no! Um, uh, turns out I'm I'm not really suited for any kind of work involving animals, and I, I probably should have realized that last episode when I imprisoned those cats. You know, truly not an epic day for the dream of becoming the best beekeeper this side of the Mississippi. Anyways, guys, I think I'm probably going to end this episode here. We've covered quite a lot in this episode, and as much as I'll try to keep this around the 10 to 15 minute mark, I'm in for quite the challenge. Anyways, I'm going to leave you all with some cinematics of this episode. Remember to leave a like, subscribe, and, and please come on over. Hang out on Twitch with me. It's it's fun. We we have we have good talks. We Look, look. Look at this. Oh! You want another one? You want another one real quick? Ooh! Yeah, yeah. Also, check out my podcast. We haven't uploaded in a while, but you know, we're, we're getting ready to ramp up production. I think I'm going to have a new episode out before this one releases for sure. So there's gonna be a lot of content coming that way. Check it out, it's awesome. With that, I love you guys. I'll see you guys later. Um, goodbye.